Hi, this is Steve Nicola right with Coach Baseball Right. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, relationships with parents and uh, the importance of a parent's meeting and maybe a parent letter. Now I do believe in our um, Baseball Academy and the coaching section, uh, parent section, we have a, a letter that's written that you know you feel free to use uh, and change accordingly to, to your specific needs. But it's really important that you have both a meeting and a letter, and here's why. Um, I'm not going to get into all the details about what you do in that meeting or letter, but I can tell you that um, if you have 15 parents on your team, you have 15 different set of expectations for how things should be done. And if you don't actually communicate to parents how you're going to do things, like for a youth program, uh, I'm going to play my kids 70% of the time, the better players, and my poor players will get no less than 40% of the time. Well, if you don't communicate that to people, you'll have 15 different sets of parents. And, you know, some parents were going to expect all the good kids to play and, and maybe the, the, the weaker kids won't get much time. And other kids or other parents will expect everything to be equal. Okay. And, and there's not a right or a wrong here. Okay, it's just that somebody has to decide. So you need to tell people up front how you're going to do what you're going to do. And it's not that everybody's going to agree with you. They won't. But they will respect the fact that you took the time to tell them, and they will abide by that. And if they don't, they, they will find another team. No hard feelings. But the problem occurs when we don't communicate with people what it is that we expect so things like playing time would be very, very important to talk about. Uh, things like um, level of commitment. You know, I remember when I was doing my, my, my own kids and we were playing, you know, like fifth or sixth grade baseball. You know, I knew in the summertime that our parents had vacations. They had some of our kids actually played other sports as well. But I wanted a certain level of commitment. So what I did is I went by the 80% the rule. I said, hey, I'm going to have 50 events between you know, April 1st or March 1st and July 1st. And I need you to commit to 40 of them. And I didn't really care whether they missed a game or they missed a practice, whatever they had to miss, as long as they could make that window of 80%. So if a parent couldn't make it at the end of the season, it would be no big deal. We just have to part ways. Um, and I didn't really care what the specific reason was that they really missed for. You know, as long as they would make that window of, of 80%. So, you know, commitment, level of commitment, uh, playing time, uh, how communication should work. Should parents call you when there's uh, when the boy's going to miss or should you have the player call you? Uh, should it be done through an email or not? Any of these kinds of things, um, you need to lay this out for, for the parents. Another big one to me was, you know, uh, how to behave during a game. You know, I don't. I never wanted my parents, you know, uh, getting on the umpire. I didn't want that, and I also didn't want my parents trying to come down to the dugout and tell their son how to play during the game. I mean, there's plenty of time for that, just not during the game. Okay. So anyway, just a little guideline for parents of expectations uh, that you, as the the coach, establishes. Very, very important. So anyway, I hope this helps, and if you get a chance, don't forget to check out all of our other great stuff at CoachBaseballWrite.com.